Charlie Couchain here. You might be wondering why I'm painting these rather large grills. Well, it's to fix a design flaw in my camper. So stick around and I'll show you how I solved the problem. Charlie Couchain here, and as some of you may be aware, I have this beautiful 2012, now eight-year-old truck camper that I've had an issue with the heating system. When you turn it on with propane, it would run for about 20 minutes and shut off, and then come on 20 minutes later and go off 20 minutes. It kept going back and forth, and I thought that was by design so it wouldn't wear out my batteries on a cold night. What it turns out, after talking to my good friend, Mike Tassinari, an HVAC specialist, my furnace was getting starved for return air. The furnace would blow into the cabin and the air couldn't get back to the furnace. So it would heat up and shut down. So let me show you how we fix that. Okay, just for reference, there's my furnace on the side right here. And if you walk around and look in my back apartment, there's access to it through this door. So let's open it up and take a look what we ended up having to do. Okay, as we go into the basement area, this goes way back into my basement. But you see these three big vents, these bring the hot air up into the cabin, but there's no way for the air to get back to the furnace. So what we did is carefully cut this notch you see here, all right? And this lets the air get right back to the furnace. But that was only half of the battle. Now that the air could get to the furnace, how does it get from the cabin down to my basement? Let's take a look inside and we'll find the secret to that. So to get the air to go from here, see it would come in right here. And there's two or three of those vents in the floor and they blow the hot air in from the ducting. But the air couldn't get back to the basement. So what we did, coming around the side of this island, you can see we cut a hole right here in the side of this island. And then that will let the air go in here, but I still need to get through the floor. And that's what we did. We cut a hole, a big slot, that went right through the floor. And you may be wondering why there is a spot here. This is a big aluminum beam sandwiched in my floor. And you can see my floor is really thick. It's two pieces of floor together, laminated together. And there are beams in the middle that you see here. And that's an aluminum beam, so we couldn't cut it. So we have air going here and here. I'll show you from the other side. Okay, here's a better view from the cabinet door side. You see we cut a big slot. Two of them, one on either side of the beam, and that will let a lot of fresh air through the, through the hole we cut, and then down through here, and to that return to the furnace. And like I said, this, as you can see, I scraped the top. That's the metal beam that runs in the floor. So we didn't want to cut that out. So that's why you see two slots. So let's go get the registers and put them in now that they're all paid. Okay, put this in, it's pretty easy. There we go. And a couple of screws. Now you will notice and, or wonder why we bought a grill with these ribs that are folded up. Well, the reason we got a grate with these ribs folded up is if my wife takes a pot or a pan 
and puts it on here, the vent still works. So it's really, it's almost impossible to clog that. Okay, let's put this other grill in. And of course, we put it with the grate facing down. We don't want to do this where you could see in. You want to put it down like this. And I put the hole so it's centered. There we go. Perfect. Looks great. Now for the test to see how it works. The test is I turn the furnace on and I'll have to turn it up to really hot, 90, and let the furnace get going. And then my buddy Mikey told me of a test to see if it's actually working. And that is you take a piece of paper towel and you see if it'll stick to it. Oh yeah, see it's sticking to it. That means the furnace is trying to pull it in, right? I can feel, I hear the furnace going. The air is getting warm. And that sticks great. So, now we'll turn it off and see if that paper falls. There, ah, uh, the test is perfect. A piece of paper fell right off and which shows you air was really being sucked down and back to the furnace. So I'm so glad I did this. I should have no troubles with my furnace anymore.